so I think that this is still a relevant way, way to start because as we go into a long weekend with better weather, it's going to be nice and comfortable for the most part. We still have this ongoing situation. So great story by Monica Woods there and very relevant because look at this. This was the update just yesterday. Now 14% in that top level of drought. And the big reason why is look at the snowpack. We're basically done with the snowpack. So in other words, all the lakes and reservoirs have come up from the snowmelt and now they're done. They're going to start to level off and then start to go down as we m use more water than it, uh, what is coming in. As far as the wind, we just have to pay attention to the wind over the next couple of days because the direction is really helpful. Coming in off the ocean, it keeps the humidity up and it'll be breezy today. It cools down overnight. The wind direction is something that's going to help us in the coming days. But I do want to point out one area in particular. Uh, this is uh, far northern California and southern Oregon. We actually have a red flag warning in this spot. It's dry enough, it's warm and not necessarily directly related to the wind, but for the threat of dry thunderstorms. That's where you get the thunderstorms to build up, but there isn't a whole lot of rain with them. They drift over to very dry areas and lightning could become an ignition source. So we're going to watch for the lightning threat drifting to our local area uh, in the coming days. But right now it's far northern California. For us, you can see the effect of the ocean breeze right there, that, that blue or that green little uh, section there. Those places are in the 60s. Outside of that influence, you're in the 70s right now. But we're all moving into that above average, low to mid 80 range, not only today, but through the weekend. So for the Sierra thunderstorms, two things I'm looking for as a risk, rain and lightning. Rain, if you're not expecting, if you're camping or hiking or things like that, it can really throw things off for you. Even though rain is seen here, obviously, as a beneficial thing, Prepare for the rain, that way you know it's coming. For the valley spots, we're going to be seeing temperatures move into the 80s today, and we're going to remain in that range through the weekend. So when is the Sierra thunderstorm threat? It's going to be this uh, upcoming Saturday and Sunday in the afternoon. They usually grow and then fall apart at sunset, but there is some drifting with these. So if they move into areas that are very dry underneath, we are watching for the potential for dry lightning. I think mostly we're going to be okay, but it is something we're watching through this weekend. Temperatures are going to be in the 80s today for the valley floor, the foothills, and then lowering low 80s through the weekend. Just some great weather ahead. Just watch out for the mountain showers and thunderstorms. Brittany?